my name's Sharon and my channel's Budget Crafty Mama. Um, over the next week or so I'm going to be working through um, some stuff that I've been making. I've been making sets for baby shower gifts. So that includes um, a blanket. Um, I'll show you some of the blankets I've been making. So those would include a blanket that's got the mitered corners and then a different sort of background and um, I've done one in llamas as well with stars on the background um, and we've got some monkey ones as well what the set comprises of is the baby blanket um, some burp cloths so each set's got three burp cloths, so these are like a little shaped burp cloth for um, putting over your shoulder when you're winding a baby and burping them so you don't end up with sick all down you. They can also be used as a little bit of a discreet cover when you're breastfeeding. Um, so they've sort of got a bit of a dual purpose, so the sets have three of those in them. Um, then they have these gorgeous little um, dribble bibs that are shaped like a little bandana. And again, each set's got three of those in them. And then each set will also have a set of three feeding bibs. So these make great baby shower gifts for new mums. And then they will also have a little taggy cloth. Um, these have got like the ribbons on um, for the babies to play with and we've made I've made some with some brighter colored ribbons on and this one these have also got these little plastic clips on to clip it onto the push chair and a little wooden teething ring on so over the next sort of week or so I'm going to work through how to make all of these bits and pieces um, so that you can make a complete baby shower gift. Now, obviously, if you haven't got time to make one or just haven't got the inclination, um, you can always just pop over to my website, budgetcraftymama.com, and purchase a set off there. Or I'm going to be putting the fabric that I've been using to make these um, on the website. This one's pretty cute. It's got... Um, lions and hippos and elephants and crocodiles monkeys on it um, so I'm going to be popping some of this fabric on the website or you can go over and you can buy a complete set ready made um, and I'm going to be showing you how to make the templates um, to make all these bits so I'm going to show you how to make the template for the bib the template for the burp cloths and the template for the mandana and then I'll also explain how I've made the taggy cloth. So we'll start today with making the templates for the burp cloth, the feed bib and the dribble bib which is like the bandana. So we'll start with those today and then in the next video we'll go on to making some of these items. So I'll reposition the camera and we'll get started. Shape and it's quite easily made. If you just cut a piece of paper that is um, 12 inches in length by four and a half inches wide. And it's really easy to do this one. Um, I'll put that side by side so you can see. And I use a very expensive technical tool to do this, and I just use a, one of Tamsin's old breakfast bowls. It's too small for her now. Um, and I'm just going to measure up. I think it was. Let me just double check. Yeah, six and a half inches up the one side. So you just want to put a mark six and a half inches up the one side. I'm just going to put that on the line. I'm just going to measure one, two, three, four, five, six and a half. And I'm just going to put a little line on there. 
up with them. I might do this in pen so that you can see what I'm doing. It might show up a bit easier. Yeah, so that's just six and a half inches up the one side. And then I'm just going to get the bowl and literally, sort of about halfway round, I'm just going to pop a curve on that. Yeah. So this will be cut away. And then I'm just going to do the same thing on the top end. Just going to measure the bowl up. And just do. Let me move over just a little bit. Let me curve on that end. And then on this end, it's got a slightly less less of a curve, but it's still got a little bit of a curve. So you just want to just do sort of a gentle curve on there. And then on here, you're just going to pop it where you've got this mark here. You're just going to pop the edge of the bowl on there. I'm just going to take it in about two inches. You don't want to go in too far. And you're just going to do a curve about three quarters of the way around. And if you decide that doesn't look like it's quite enough, just move it over and do another one. Yeah, and then the top half, we're sort of almost going to freestyle draw this. You don't want this to go right to the edge. You want it to be just before the edge. I don't know if you can see that. Just try doing it a bit darker. So you want to leave sort of about a millimetre before the edge. And then you just want to sort of join those two up in like a swirl. Yeah, and then this is cut away. This is cut away, this is cut away, and that is your template. And it's cut around there. you put this part here on a fold yeah if you didn't want to be putting it on a fold then you'd need to make the template on a piece of folded paper so that you could open it up and have sort of as an open one but this is how I normally do it because it's just easier to do it on a fold um, if you wanted to do um, like a baby, one for like a newborn baby, what you'd do there is you would just fold this up slightly. And then fold it back down just a touch, just to take a little bit off the length. You don't want to take too much off the length. But that would be what you take off the, the length, just to make it for a newborn baby. And that's basically your template for your bib. Now for your bandana, you want a piece of paper that is eight and three quarter inches wide by seven and a half inches long. And what you want to do with this one is, again it's really simple when you've got the measurements, is from this side you want to measure up to five and three quarter inches and put a mark yeah and then from the top across you want to measure five and a half inches and put a mark yeah so then the first line we're going to do is from that five and a half across 
to that one that's five and three quarters. Yeah, so that's your first line. Then up in this top corner, you want to mark three quarters of an inch in. This is, is it anyway? Three quarters of an inch in from this side, and then three quarters of an inch down. from this side and then you're just going to join those two points up there and then you're going to go from this bottom point here you can see it from this bottom point here down to this corner point right at the very bottom And that is your template for your bandana. So you want to cut this off, you want to cut this point off and cut this away. And this here is your template for your bandana. And I will, so this is for like um, the bandana or the dribble bibs. And again, this part here, will be cut on a fold. Okay, so this is put on the fold. Um, so that's your second template. Your third one is slightly more complicated, um, but not much. Right, so you need a piece of paper that is 20 inches long by 9.5 inches wide. As you can see, this is quite difficult to work with. I'm going to show you a little trick for dealing with paper. With the parcel paper, um, all I'm going to do is I'm just going to lie it on my wool mat and without steam, I'm just going to run a warm iron over it. And as you can see, that brings that unruly paper under control and stops it curling up everywhere. So, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold this in half. And I want this piece of paper 10 inches by 9.5. So it's folded, so on the fold side, this bit here needs to be 10 inches, and this bit across here needs to be 9.5. So I'm just going to line this up on my piece of paper, it's nice and straight. I'm just going to line the ruler up on the 9.5. Now, if you don't have a rotary cut on a board, you can just measure this and draw it. But as these are nice straight lines, I'm just going to cut through them. And then we need it to be 10 inches the other way. So I'm just going to, and as you can see, I've already done the 10 inches that way. Yep. It's already measuring on the 10 inches. So... Now what I'm going to do is, with the end that's got the fold, I'm just going to measure one inch from each side. I'm going to use my little marks on the board here for this. And I'm just going to draw a little line. And I'm going to do the same on the other side. I'm just going to pop a little line. And then I'm going to do the same thing going up, but three inches. One, two, three. And the same on the other side. One, two, three. And I'm just going to mark that. I 
doesn't need to be a very deep mark. Now I'm just going to I'm going to use I'm going to use my new template that I've got for doing my quilting and I'm going to use that to do my circle at the top so I'm just going to draw around the top of my template yeah, and down to those little lines I'm going to touch those little lines there See that they've drawn round and I've just touched those lines there. Now if you'd wanted to you could always fold this in half and do it this way round but I like to do it this way. If I look I think it's a little bit far over one side there so there we go. and then what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to take oh, this is the bowl we do and I'm just going to curve the line the other way and I'm going to do that on the other side as well so I'm just going to go from that line that I've drawn just sort of about three quarters of an inch down the side you can see that so I've just sort of joined those up to the sides, sort of about maybe about an inch down on this side and that is my template for so that is my template for my burp cloths and those are so cute so those are my three templates um, and on the next video video we're going to show you how to start making this the items for your baby shower sets so we're going to start with um, making the bibs um, so you've got a bib you've got a dribble bib you've got a burp cloth and also in that set is a blanket and it's like a little taggy blanket you know like with the little ribbons around the side and a clip to clip it on to um, the strap on your push chair so that you don't lose it and um, you know because that, that's really annoying when they get attached to these things and you go out and all of a sudden they're gone so it's just a, a little taggy blanket to, uh, to, to keep it safe so okay thank you for watching if you've liked this video please press um, the like button and subscribe i'd really appreciate that it would really help my channel um so thank you for watching bye